Hi everyone, it's Dove again. This is my second try running my Ausranvik refrigerator on my Apex unit. The customer service for Ausranvik, I think I'm saying that right, they reached out to me when they saw my first video when I was running the 12 volt test and it shut down because of the low battery protection and they actually wrote a comment and told me how to bypass that which unfortunately it's not here in the manual the code that they're telling me to enter into here it's not in the manual so that's not something I would have known on my own had they not reached out to me so we're gonna try this I've got him plugged in and he's on 100% so we're gonna go to DC only right there now the refrigerator's on and they tell me to press and hold the set button and every time you press the set button again after that it will go to a different code see I didn't even know that was there and then we go No, that's not working. Okay, hold on. Something's not working. Alright, so somehow I managed to get the setting right. And you can see right here that the battery protection is gone. It no longer says low right here. So if it was on, it would say either high, medium, or low. And so I went through and did the F5 code like they told me to and it was on one and I think I pushed the up or down button and I got it to zero and that disappeared. So yes, you can bypass the low battery protection on this refrigerator. So we're going to see how long I can run it now. It's at 75. The compressor's not kicked on yet because it hasn't been three minutes. 74 in here. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. Counting up. Here we are, 100%. Compressor's not kicked in yet, like I said. So we're going to do this. We're going to see how long we can run this baby on my Apex now that I don't have any low battery protection running. Okay? Just like the last video, I'll check in with you periodically. Later. All right, here we go. It's been about 26 minutes and the compressor shut off. And we're down to my target temperature. Actually, I still have it set at 40, but it always takes it a little bit below. Of course, and I don't think this thermometer or thermostat has caught up. No, nope, not yet. 48. So, that'll catch up eventually. But of course, we're still at 100%. Everything is eerily quiet because the compressor shut off. But hopefully this works and I can keep this refrigerator running a lot longer than 24 hours. All right, check back in with you later. All right, so here we are about six hours later. Battery is at 93. Compressor's on right now. Well, 93, 96, whatever. As we know, it kind of fluctuates around a lot. Everything's still looking good, 41. Forty-one. So they're all synced up now. And the last time I ran this test, well actually the first time I ran it, at the six hour mark there was 92% left of the battery. And so it's about the same at the six hour mark. Okay, 
Well, I will check back in at the 24 hour mark tomorrow and we'll see how much longer it can go past 24 hours. All right, see you then. Okay, here we are, 25 and a half hours later, and my refrigerator is still running. She's still going. The compressor should kick on anytime. So if you saw my first video with running it off of DC, you'll know that it didn't even last 25 hours. So we're still at 65%. And she's still on. See what it is in here. 40. Everything looks good. Feels nice and cold in there. The outside's kind of cold too. I think I'm going to have to get the uh, um, that insulating cover for it. Alright. So I'm just going to keep rolling with this. And when my battery gets down to probably about 20%, I'm going to shut it off because I don't want to harm the apex. Oh, he's kicking on now. Probably heard that. This light comes on when the compressor's on. It's pretty quiet. I mean, it's kind of like just white noise, really, to me. It doesn't bother me. All right. So I will check back in when I need to turn off the Apex and we'll see how long the refrigerator lasted on it. See ya. Okay guys, it has been 55 hours and I'm still running my refrigerator right now. It's still on, it's still cold, everything's functioning just fine, but I'm gonna have to get ready to turn it off because I'm almost down to 20%. And I think you can run it a little bit lower than this, but it's not a good idea, really. But here we are, 55 hours. That's a lot better than the 24 hours I got when the low battery protection was on. So there you have it. If you want a 12 volt fridge that you can actually turn off the low battery protection this is the one you want. I will have to say though that you will have to be very vigilant. You can't just set it and forget it because you would probably damage your apex. But right now as it is that apex will run that refrigerator on DC for 55 hours to 20% left on the battery. So much, much, much better. And I thank the manufacturers of the refrigerator for reaching out to me and telling me how to turn off the low voltage protection, low battery protection, whatever you want to call it. Because it worked and I'm real happy about it. All right, you guys, that's it for now. Take care.